Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video in particular is a little bit different than most of my content, but I felt like God was weighing it heavy on my heart this week to share this message. This message in particular is for the people who are in the process of following their dreams. This is the people who are pursuing their passion, and this video is also for the people who believe that they have a higher calling over their life. The first thing that I wanna say, I've tried recording this a few times, but one thing I wanna point out is that this path is not for the weak-minded. This path is not for the people who give up easily. This path is not for people who are sore losers. Because when you have a vision and you can see it so clearly in your mind, you get to this place in your life where you might be in like a job or a position where it doesn't matter what job you get, you just remain unfulfilled and unhappy no matter where you move to or how long you work there. Like you start to get to this place where all you think about is that, that thing that you want to create or that thing that you like to do. And when you wake up in the morning and while you're at work, you think about that thing, it like consumes you, not necessarily in a bad way, but you can't shut out the noise and you also can't unsee the vision because when you have a purpose over your life, it's not unclear. You can actually see it in your mind. The first thing I wanna talk about is when you become so clear in the things that you want and you get this tunnel vision and you're really going after the things that you want, you're gonna upset a lot of people in your life. People are gonna lash out at you maybe and they're gonna say things like, I can't believe you didn't answer your phone on the first call. Why didn't you do that? There's going to be people who give you the guilt trip. There's going to be people who stick a finger in your face and say that you think you're better than them. They might make snarky remarks about how you're always working and you, you never make time for them and you're not available. And I know that people with kids and a family, that's completely different because obviously you have to give your spouse and your children attention, but I'm specifically talking to the people outside of that. I'm talking about everyone else around that tries to make you feel bad for doing the things that you want in life instead of being happy for you. You might even find that you set the bar very high for who has access to you. You might get very depleted and your energy might get drained from specific people and you might not feel like talking to them as much, if not at all. And you get to this place in your life where if people drop or fall off, if they're not supporting you and they get upset with you over silly little things because you're not constantly at their beck and call, maybe those people aren't for you in the first place. More than likely, you're a lot like myself where you have a full-time nine to five job and you're doing this side hustle on the side and you're spending all your extra minutes, hours, seconds in the day doing this thing. And the thing is, is these people who are making you feel bad about the things that you're chasing after, they don't have a vision. And more than likely, they don't know that you're staying up till midnight working on these projects because you're not sitting there boasting about it and you're not being proud about it. You're putting in the blood, sweat, tears, the effort, because you have this belief so deep within your heart that you feel like nothing's gonna stop you. You might even find yourself outgrowing people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You might have dead-end friendships, you might find that people are very envious of you, and that's the thing too. When you start leveling up in your life and people see that you're chasing after those things, they're gonna watch you. They're gonna watch you from the outside, but they're not gonna like your posts, they're not gonna support you by buying your products, the only time that they're going to want to clap for you is when you're successful and you have an outstanding amount of followers, an outstanding amount of success, and then they're going to want what you have when you get to that level of success. And here's something to remember. If you have people in your life that are constantly dragging you down while you're trying to achieve these things, let them go. I mean, even if it's for a short time, it doesn't mean forever. Like Steve Harvey said, he said, if you have family members who haven't started a business or Friends that just want to, you know, this is just my opinion, but if you have friends that all they want to do is get messed up and get drunk over on the weekends where you're sitting there putting in the hours and people are making you feel sorry for it, stay away from them. Stay away from them until you get to that place in your life because you don't need that, that kind of negativity in your life. And to be completely honest with you, it's just a distraction. It's all this outside noise. You need to get tunnel vision and you need to get really clear on the things that you want in life and you have to hone in on it. And I know that it's not an easy path and I know sometimes it gets lonely and I know sometimes it's hurtful when 
you know, you thought the people closest to you would be your biggest supporters and your cheerleaders. Maybe you don't have anybody at all. Here's the thing. I don't care if you believe in God. I don't care if you do believe in God. I do personally. The moment my life changed is when I looked to God instead of everybody else around me. I used to tell everybody what was going on in my life. I used to overshare. And now I'm at this place in my life where I'm protecting my energy and it might seem like a selfish thing to some people and there's going to be a lot of people that get upset with you. But here's the deal. What's more important? Worrying about their opinions or getting to the end of your life wishing that you would have did those things? And if you're one of those people and you've been posting on social media for a long time and your growth is extremely slow and you're trying all these things and you're investing all this time and say you're at a place where you're feeling defeated. This could be somebody else. Say you're feeling defeated because I know we all feel defeated at some times. Keep being consistent. Keep posting. I cannot stress that enough. I have been consistently posting on TikTok for over two years and my growth is very slow. It's very gradual. Slow growth is better than no growth. And I think that the thing in life is it's all based on timing. There's always a right time for everything. That's my firm belief. Say you feel called to go to a coffee shop. You never know who you're gonna run into. Say you feel called to go on a vacation to a different country and you have no idea why, but you just feel it in your heart to do that. If you have the funds, book the trip and go do the thing because you never know who you're gonna run into. That one person could lead you to a whole nother realm of people who are like-minded like you, that are gonna help you, that are gonna support you, and people that are gonna teach you things, and you never know, they could make your life extremely different, impactful, like, there could be one person who has success like crazy and say you're an artist, they could buy your painting and then all of a sudden you could be sold out. Or you could be working on, you know, a product or making a patent on something and that, that one person can change your entire life. You never know who you're going to run into. Okay, I want to talk about know-it-alls. I want to talk about the people who try and stick a finger in your face and tell you how you should or could do things. Not really, they don't really suggest, they tell you. This is what you should do. You should post this, you should post that. Well, you know what? This is your race and regardless if someone's competing with you or not, it's your race. Say if someone's being really bossy to you and they're trying to tell you how to run your business and they have no success, they have no room to talk. They have no room to talk, they don't because they're not living that life. They can think that they know everything and that's fine. So say you have said no at all or person in your life that's trying to tell you how to do things and kind of boss you around, do you know what you say to them? You say, I appreciate your input and you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm gonna continue staying consistent with the things that I know how to do best. <laughs> More than likely they'll end the phone call or the conversation in about five seconds because you stood your ground and you were respectful about it. Don't tell everybody your next move. Don't tell everybody your business. I know you're excited and you wanna share. But let me tell you what, from personal experience, there are more people than I even want to admit that I want to count that secretly want you to fail. There's people in your life, and more than likely they're the people closest to you. More than likely they're your closest family, your closest friends, because there are so many people in this life that are afraid to chase after the things that they want in their life that they secretly want you to fail. And it's the truth. You know, I started therapy, I want to say back in 2019, so I've been consistently going to therapy for almost five years now. And a piece of advice that my therapist gave me that has stuck with me is she said, you know what, Ty, imagine you're on an elevator and you're on the first floor and every time that you're leveling up in your life, you move up a floor. Let's just say you're on the fourth floor and everybody else that doesn't have a similar mindset is on the first floor. They're going to remain stuck there and they're going to want to pull you down with them. But when you have a dream and a vision and you can so clearly see the things that you want in your life and there's people in your life that are, they have this fear-based mentality, they're not going to understand what you're doing. You're not going to feel like you're understood by them because they really don't understand. It's almost like they don't know any better. It doesn't mean that they're bad people and sometimes that might be the case. Sometimes there might be people who wish you fail and there's going to be a lot of people that are just waiting on your downfall and they're just sitting in the back seat thinking, okay, well, I can't wait to see this plan crash and burn. And little do they know when God calls you to your specific calling and your purpose, nobody can get in the way. 
the enemy can try to get in the way, people in your life can try and get in the way, and there's going to be all these, this outside noise going on and all these distractions. You just have to keep your focus shifted on God and the rest will follow. I promise you that. So yeah, if you are a person who is pursuing your passions, following your dreams, and chasing after your calling in your life, I'm here to tell you that everything that you're going after, if you stay consistent, it's going to happen for you. You just have to believe in yourself and you're not going to find the belief from other people around you. If you're searching for the approval of the people around you, you're not going to find it. You're not going to be successful. You have to find it within yourself. You have to reach deep within inside of yourself and you have to grab it and you have to hold on to that and you need to go for it. And this is my incentive to tell you that if you came across this video and you feel like giving up, and you're about to quit, don't do that. And the reason I'm saying this is because I watched an interview the other day and it was about Matt Reif and I think he was with Jimmy Fallon and he was, was gonna go to this comedy club. I don't know the entire story, all the details, but his friend was, I think his friend was a comedian too. And his friend's like, hey, you should come with me. And then the leader of the production didn't want Matt Reif there. And his friend said, well, if Matt doesn't come with, then I don't wanna come to this festival. Well then, Matt ended up going, I don't know if he performed a show or whatever, i do not not sure if he did, but anyway, I might be butchering this story a little bit, but this is what I remember. He got to dinner that night and he was really down in the dumps and feeling very low about himself and he's like, God, you know, should I be in comedy? Because I think he pursued comedy for about 14 years. He was going to post this TikTok and he had it all edited, ready to go, and he's like, oh, I don't even know if I want to post this. You know, I think it was of one of his older shows and his friend said, well, you already have the thing edited, just post it. That video ended up going viral and his whole entire career skyrocketed. So what I'm trying to tell you today, when you feel like giving up and you feel like throwing in the towel, you could be this close to breakthrough. And I have chills talking about this right now. I don't know who is watching this video. You are this close. And if you give up, all of that stuff in the back, all of that time, effort, and energy that you put into this thing is gonna go up in flames and not for good reasons. This could be your entire length of your journey. You have to go just this much further. Post that one more video. Make that one more thing. Create something new. Keep researching. Keep pursuing your passions and keep chasing after the things that set your soul on fire. What I'm asking you today is to just keep on going and keep posting and keep pursuing what you're doing because one day it will pay off. I want to thank you for watching today and tuning into my channel and I hope that all of your dreams come true and I wish and I pray that you keep on going because you could be so close and you just don't know it. I hope you have a great rest of your week and thank you for watching my channel. Peace out.